viruses. They are medium-sized viruses with a double-stranded segmented RNA genome. And this includes the human rotaviruses, which is the most important cause of infantile gastroenteritis around the world. So as we can see here in, in this feed. Uh, as we can see here, rotaviruses are the ones that mostly cause cause B infantile gastroenteritis. And then other causes can be uh, the adenovirus, Kaliki, Astro, E. coli, and other bacteria and parasites. For acute gastroenteritis, it is a very common disease with significant public health impact. In the developing countries, it is estimated to cause as many as 1.3 million deaths for preschool children annually, of which rotavirus is responsible for about up to 500,000 deaths. So, Kaliki viruses are small viruses with a single-stranded RNA genome and the family contains noroviruses as well, which is the major cause of non-bacterial epidemic gastroenteritis worldwide. And astroviruses also cause gastroenteritis. Okay, so for real virus and rotaviruses, so for the important properties or real viruses, we have this table. And again, the outstanding characteristics for real viruses will be genetic reassortment occurs readily. Rotaviruses are the major cause of infantile diarrhea. Real viruses naman are good models for molecular studies of viral pathogenesis. For the structure and composition, the virions measure 6 to 18 nanometers in diameter, and they possess two concentric capsid shells, each of which is icosahedral. But, however, rotavirus naman, they have a triple layer structure, and there is no envelope. Uh, single shot virus particles that lack the outer capsid are 50 to 60 nanometers in diameter, while the inner core of the particle is 33 to 40. So here in the in the right side of the slide, we have a feed here, the electron micrograph of a negatively stained preparation of human rotaviruses. And there's a tag there, wherein D, the D represents the double, wait, this one, these are double shell particles. The E would be empty capsids, and the I would be the fragments of inner shell, while the IO is a fragment of a combination of inner and outer shells. So there, there, is, there are two shells for, for geoviruses. Okay? The double shell particle is the complete infectious form of the of the virus. And then the real virus genome consists of double stranded RNA in 10 to 12 discrete segments with a total genome size of 16 to 27 TBP, which depends on the genus. And rota rotavirus naman, they only contain 11 genome segments. Also, real virus and RB viruses has 10 segments, while cold T viruses have 12. Individual RNA segments vary in size from 680 BP to 3,900 BP. And the virion core contains several enzymes needed for the transcription and capping of the viral RNAs. So rotaviruses are stable to heat at 50 degrees Celsius to a 3 to 9 range of pH and to lipid solvents, but they are inactivated by 95% 5% ethanol, phenol, and chlorine. So limited treatment with proteolytic enzymes increase infectivity. For its classification, Rio Verde is divided into 15 genera, wherein the four of these, uh, four of the genera are able to infect humans. So we have Arthur Rio, Rota, OT, and RB. The genera, the genera are also divided into two subfamilies, namely Spinorheovirinae and Cedorheovirinae. So Spinorheovirinae contains the viruses with large spikes at the 12 vertices of the particle, like the orthoreo virus, while Cedorheovirinae appear more smooth 
and they lack the large surface projection compared to the spina reovirinae. So we have rotavirus as a prime example. There are there are at eight species or groups of rotaviruses of which three species infect humans. So A, B, and C of rotavirus. For its replication, so of course, always uh, all viruses uh, do this. First, they need to attach to a specific receptor on the cell surface in order for the for the virus to enter the cell. Then the cell attachment protein for real virus is the viral hemagglutinin, uh, which is a mi minor component of the outer capsid. After being attached, and if the virus is able to penetrate the cell, uh, and the uncoating of the virus will occur. And this will occur in the lysosome, which is in the cell cytoplasm. And since, again, this real virus has two shells, only the outer shell of the virus is being removed. And there is a... Is a transcriptase, which is core-associated RNA transcriptase that is being activated. So what this transcriptase do, as the name implies, you will transcribe the mRNA molecule from the minus strand of the double-stranded RNA se segment in the core of the virus. Okay? Then... This core of the real virus also contains all, all enzymes which is necessary for the tr transcribing, copying, and the uh, extruding of the mRNA from the core, which leaves the double-stranded RNA genome segment inside. After being extruded from the core, this mRNA will be translated into primary gene products. And some of the full-length transcripts are will be encapsulated which will then form to become immature virus particles and and after cell, cell lysis these viral particles will then be um, released from the cell so a viral replicase is responsible for synthesizing negative strands negative sense strands to form the double stranded genome segments this replication to form progeny double stranded RNA occurs in partially completed core structures. And the mechanism which ensures the assembly of the correct complement of the genome segments into developing viral core are unknown. However, the reassortment occurs readily in cells co-infected with different viruses of the same subgroup. And viral polypeptides probably self-assemble to form the inner and outer capsule shell. The real virus production uh, produced inclu inclusion bodies in the cytoplasm where, wherein the virus particles are found. And these viral factories are closely associated with tubular structure. The rotavirus morphogenesis involves budding of single shell particles into the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the seed pseudo envelopes so acquired are then removed and the outer capsids are added. This unusual pathway is used because the major outer capsid protein of rotavirus is glycosylated. And cell lysis results in the release of the progeny virions. Now for the rotaviruses, it is a major cause of diarrhea illness in human infants and young animals, which includes calves and piglets. But it doesn't mean that there are they will not infect adult humans and animals because uh, infections in, in adults are also common. Among the rotaviruses are the agents of human infantile diarrhea, Nebraska calf diarrhea, episiotic diarrhea of infant mice, and the SA11 virus of monkeys. Rotavirus resemble real viruses in terms of morphology and strategy of replication. So rotaviruses have been classified into eight species, A to H, based on the antigenic epitopes, and group A rotaviruses are the most frequent human pathogens. So outer capsid proteins, VP4 and VP7, carry the epitopes important in the neutralizing activity, with VP7 glycoprotein being the P 
predominant antigen. So these type specific antigens differentiate among rotaviruses and are demonstrable by neutralization tests. And five predominant serotype strains of rotavirus species are responsible for the majority of human disease. So we have G1 to G4 and G9. Serotype distributions also differ geographically. So depending on where you are, there's the different predominating rate of rotavirus species. For classic, uh, I mean, multiple stereotypes have been identified among human and animal rotaviruses. And some animals and human rotavirus share serotype specificity. For example, monkey virus SA11 is antigenically very similar to human serotype 3. For, for the molecular epidemiologic studies, they have analyzed isolates based on the differences in the migration. Oops, wrong slide. After electrophoresis of the RNA in the polyacrylamide gel. So, these differences in electrophorotypes is being used to differentiate species A viruses from other groups. But they can they cannot be used in determining the, determining the stereotypes. So, in here, we have a figure which shows the rotavirus structure. For animal susceptibility, so rotavirus have a wide host range. So most isolates were recovered from newborn animals with diarrhea. And cross-species infections can occur in experimental inoculation, but it but in nature it was not yet observed. Newborns often exhibit subclinical infections, perhaps reflecting the presence of maternal antibody. And over disease is more common in winning animals. For the propagation in cell culture, they are fastidious agents to culture. And most group A human rotavirus can be cultivated if pre-treated with the proteolytic enzyme trypsin and if low levels of trypsin are included in the tissue culture medium. This cleaves an outer capsule protein and facilitates uncoating. Very few non-group A rotavirus strains have been cultivated. For pathogenesis, they infect the cells in the villi of the small intestine, and the gastric and colonic mucosa are being spared. They multiply in the cytoplasm of enterocytes and damage their transport mechanism. And the one of the rotavirus encoding protein, known as the NSP4, is a viral enterotoxin, which induces secretion by triggering a calcium-dependent signal transduction pathway. And damaged cells may slough, slough into the lumen of the intestine and release large quantities of virus, which appears in the stool, which is up to 1,012 particles per gram of feces. The exclusion of this virus usually lasts from 2 to 12 days, in otherwise healthy patients, but it can be prolonged in those with poor nutrition and immunocompromised patients. The diarrhea caused by rotaviruses can be due to uh, impaired sodium and glucose absorption as damaged cells on replaced are, are replaced by non-absorbing immature cryptos. So if they are, there is impaired sodium absorption, then sodium will be retained in the uh, sodium and glucose will be retained outside of the cells. So Again, we're, we're salt. Uh, we're salt goes waterfall. So if the salt is, if the concentration of the salt is um, is outside of the cell, then by, os by by osmotic principle, the water will go out, and this will cause diarrhea. Okay. So rotavirus cause the major portion of their real illness in infants and children worldwide, but not in adults. So here, here we have a table uh, of viruses associated with acute gastroenteritis in humans, with, uh, which includes rotaviruses, A, B, and C, enteric adenovirus, calitivirus, and astrovirus. For the incubation period of, rotavir of rotavirus, it the incubation period is one to three days. And the typical symptoms will include watery diarrhea, 
fever, abdominal pain, and vomiting, which will lead to dehydration. So, in infants and children, severe loss of electrolytes and fluids can be fatal unless treated. For those patients naman with milder cases, have symptoms for 3 to 8 days and then recover completely. However, the exclusion of virus in the stool can persist up to 50 days after the onset of diarrhea. A symptomatic infection with seroconversion also occurs. In children with immune deficiencies, rotavirus can cause severe and prolonged disease. Adult contacts can also be infected as evidenced by seroconversion. So, seroconversion, for those who doesn't know yet, uh, is the presence of antibodies. Okay? So, so, so they, there is evidence that the, the adult contacts have have been infected because of the presence of the antibody. Amulan pan ng evidence based conversion. But they rarely, they rarely exhibit symptoms and virus is infrequently detected in their stools. So the common source of infection for this one is contact with pediatric cases. Laboratory diagnosis uh, rests on demonstration of virus in stool collected early in the illness and on a rise of um, uh, antibody titer. Oh, by the way, the, as I mentioned, it, the common source of infection is pediatric cases, but there are also epidemics of severe disease which can occur also in adults, especially if if there's if it is a close population, like if in home for the aged, like that, or in the geriatric ward. This um, you adult contacts can also be infected. Virus in stool is demonstrated through the antigen enzyme immunoassays or the PCR and gene genotyping of a rotavirus nucleic acid from stool specimen by PCR is the most sensitive detection method. Okay, rotavirus are the single most important worldwide cause of gastroenteritis in young children. And in developed countries, they have a high morbidity rate, but there is a low mortality rate. And typically, up to 50% of cases of acute gastroenteritis of hospitalized children throughout the world are caused by rotavirus. Rotavirus infections usually predominate during the winter season, and symptomatic infections are most common in children between ages 6 months and 2 years, and transmission appears to be through fecal-oral route. Nosocomial infections are also frequent and rotaviruses are ubiquitous. By age of 3 years, 90% of children have serum antibodies to one or more types. This high prevalence of rotavirus antibodies is maintained until, that, until those children are already in adults, which suggests uh, subclinical reinfection by the virus. Rotavirus reinfection are common. It has been shown that young children can suffer up to five reinfection by two years of age. And asymptomatic infections are more common with successive reinfection. Local immune factors such as secretory IgA or interferon can be important in protection against rotavirus infection. Asymptomatic infections are common in infants before age of six months. This is the time during which protective maternal antibody acquired passively by newborns should be present. And such neonatal infection does not prevent reinfection, but it does protect against the development of severe disease during reinfection. For the treatment, the treatment of gastroenteritis is supportive, so we, we need to correct the loss of water and electrolytes because of the diarrhea. And because this may lead to dehydration, it can cause acidosis, it can cause shock, and it can cause death, especially in children or in infants. So uh, the management will consist uh, of replacement of the fluids and restoration of the electrolyte balance. So it can be either intravenously or orally if feasible. 
so in in view of the frequent i mean in view of the fecal oral route of transmission wastewater treatment and sanitation are significant control measures as well an oral live attenuated rotavirus vaccine was licensed in the u.s in 1998 for vaccination of infants. However, this was withdrawn a year later because of reports of intussusception as an uncommon but serious side effect associated with the vaccine. In 2006, there is an oral live attenuated pentavalent human bovine reassortant rotavirus vaccine that was licensed in the U.S. And um, these vaccines are safe and effective and associated, and neither is associated with intussusception. Immunization of immunocompromised individuals or their family members should be avoided as vaccine strains can cause disease in these patients. Since again, this is live attenuated. A safe and effective vaccine remains the best hope for reducing the worldwide burden of rotavirus disease. For real virus, they are also ubiquitous with a very wide range of mammalian, avian, and reptilian hosts. And there's three distinct but related type of rail virus have been recovered from many species and are demonstrable by neutralization and hemagglutination inhibition tests. Our uh, rail viruses contain a hemagglutinin for human group O or bovine erythrocytes. For its epidemiology, they cause many inapparent infections because most people have serum antibodies by early adulthood. And antibodies are also present in other species. All three types have been recovered from healthy children, from young children during outbreaks of minor febrile illness, from children with enteritis or mild respiratory disease, as well as from chimpanzees with epidemic rhinitis. Human volunteer studies have failed to demonstrate a clear cause and effect relationship of real viruses to human illness. In inoculated volunteers, real virus is recovered far more readily from the feces rather than from the nose, nose or the throat. So for the pathogenesis, real viruses have become important model systems for the study of pathogenesis of viral infection at the molecular level. <laughs> Defined recombinants from two real viruses with different pathogenic phenotypes are used to infect mice. Uh, segregation analysis is then used to associate particular features of pathogenesis with specific viral gene and gene products, and the pathogenic properties of real viruses are primarily determined by the protein species found on the outer capsid of the virion. For oviviruses and cultiviruses, uh, gene, it is a genus within the real virus family, and they commonly infect insects, and many are transmitted by insects to vertebrates and there is about 100 serotypes that are known and none of these viruses cause serious clinical disease in humans but they may cause mild fevers um antibodies to rb viruses are also found in many vertebrates which include humans and the genome consists of 10 segments of double-stranded rna with a total genome size of 18 kbp the replicative cycle is similar to that of the real viruses, and RB viruses are sensitive to low pH in contrast with the general stability of other real viruses. Cultiviruses form another species within the real very day, and this virus particle is 80 nanometers in diameter with a genome consisting of 12 segment, segments of double stranded RNA, totaling about 29 kbp. For the collective viruses, in addition to rota and non-cultivable adenoviruses, the members of the Calicibiridae are important agents of viral gastroenteritis in humans. And the most significant member are the nor noroviruses, which is a prototype strain being the nor with the prototype strain being the norwalk virus. So its outstanding characteristic would be uh, it is a major cause of non-bacterial epidemic gastroenteritis and uh, Human viruses are non-cultivable. They cannot be cultivated. Calicivirus are similar to picornaviruses but are slightly larger 
and contains a single major structural protein. So here is an X-ray structure of the Norwalk virus. For the classification of antigenic properties, they exhibit a distinctive morphology in the electron microscope. So, yun. So, for Kaliki viruses, we have a letter E. So, it's star shape, no? So the family Kaliki Verdae is divided into five genera. We have the norovirus, apovirus, nevovirus, lagovirus, and the vesivirus. And the first two genera contain human viruses that cannot be cultured, and the latter two contain animal strains that can be grown in vitro. The rabbit hemorrhagic disease virus was introduced in 1995 as a biologic control agent to reduce the country's population of wild rabbits. Human Kaliki virus stereotypes are not defined, and multiple genotypes of norovirus have been detected. So there is three genome groups that are associated with human gastroenteritis, um, designated G1, G2, and G4. And in 2001, genotype G2.4 viruses have caused most viral gastroenteritis outbreaks worldwide. And noroviruses appear to under undergo antigenic drift over time, probably in response to population immunity. So cellular receptors for noroviruses are installed compatibility blood group antigens that are expressed on the mucosal epithelia of the digestive tract. A person's secretor status is controlled by the pucosoidal transferase 2 gene. Secretor neg negative individuals are resistant to infection with the common strains of the norovirus. So norovirus are the most important cause of epidemic viral gastroenteritis in adults and epidemic non-bacterial gastroenteritis is characterized by first the absence of bacterial pathogens second gastroenteritis with rapid onset and recovery and relatively mild systemic signs and third an, an epidemiologic pattern of highly communicable disease that spreads rapidly with no particular predilection in terms of age or geography the various descriptive terms have been used in reports of different outbreaks depending on the predominant clinical feature. Norbuck viral gastroenteritis has an incubation period of 24 to 48 hours. The onset of this is rapid and the clinical course is brief which lasts to last 12 to 60 hours and the symptoms include diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, low-grade fever, abdominal cramps, headache, and malice. The illness can be incapacitating during the symptomatic phase, but hospitalization is rarely required. Norovirus infections are more likely to induce vomiting than those with Sapporo-like viruses, and dehydration is the co most common complication in young and elderly individuals. The viral shedding can persist for as long as one month and there's no sequelae have, that have been reported for this. Both of the experiments have shown that the appearance of Norwalk virus coincides with that clinical illness. An antibody develops during the illness and is usually protective on a short-term basis against reinfection with the same agent. Long-term immunity does not correspond well to the presence of serum antibodies. Some volunteers can be reinfected with the same virus after about two years. And reverse transcriptive PCR is the most widely used technique for the detection of the human Kaliki virus in clinical specimens and environmental samples. Because of the genetic diversity among circulating strains, the choice of the PCR primer pairs is very important. So there can be up to 100 billion viral genome copies per gram of feces at peak shedding, which is two to five days after infection. Electron microscopy can be used to detect virus particles in stool samples, but norovirus particles are usually present in low concentration and are difficult to recognize. ELISA immunoassays based on recombinant virus particles can detect antibody responses with a fourfold or greater rise in IgG antibody titer in acute and convalescent phase here indicative of, of recent infection. However, the necessary reagents are not widely available. So, yun. And the antigens are not able to detect responses to all 
pathogenic types of noroviruses. Human Kaliki viruses have worldwide distribution. Noroviruses are the most common cause of non-bacterial gastroenteritis in the U.S., which cause an estimated 21 million cases annually. The viruses are most often associated with outbreaks of waterborne, foodborne, and shellfish-associated shellfish gastroenteritis, and all age groups can be affected with this. Outbreaks occur throughout the year with a seasonal peak during cooler months, and fecal oral spread is the primary means of transmission. Most outbreaks involve foodborne or person-to-person -person transmission via fomites or aerolization of contaminated body fluids like vomitus and fecal material. And outbreaks in the closed settings such as cruise ship and nursing homes are typical. Characteristic of norovirus include a low infectious dose, relative stability in the environment, and multiple modes of transmission. It can survive 10 ppm of chlorine and heating to 60 degrees Celsius, and it can maintain viability even in oysters that are being steamed. No in vitro utilization assay is available to study immunity. And voluntary challenges studies have shown that about 50% of adults are susceptible to this type of illness. Norwalk virus antibody is acquired later in life than rotavirus antibody, wherein this, the antibody for rotavirus develops early in the childhood. In developing countries, most children have developed norovirus antibody by the age of four years old. For the treatment, uh, just like other um, other virus tests, symptomatic treatment is done. And the low infectious dose permits efficient transmission of the virus. Effective hand washing is probably the most important method to prevent norovirus infection and transmission since, again, it's fecal oral route. So uh, hand washing it prevents that. And because of the infectious nature of the stools, care should be taken in the disposal of the stools. Containment and disinfection of sold areas and beddings can also help decrease the viral spread. And careful processing of food and education of food handlers are also important because many foodborne outbreaks occur there. We can also uh, prevent or decrease the outbreaks by the purification of drinking water and as well as the swimming pool water because uh, even though we, we would try to deny, but oftentimes, nakakainom kita swim in too big a swimming pool. So, it's also a, possi a possible source of infection. And there's actually no vaccine for this one. Mm -hmm. For astroviruses, they are about 28 to 30 nanometers in diameter and exhibit a distinctive star-like morphology in the electron microscope. That's why it's called as astro, the star. So they contain single-stranded positive sense RNA, and the, this family contains two genera. And all human viruses are classified under the mamas, mamastrovirus uh, genus. At least eight serotypes of human viruses are recognized by IEM and neutralization. As the virus causes diarrheal illness and may be shed in extraordinarily large quantities in feces, and the virus are transmitted by the fecal oral route through contaminated food or water, person-to-person -person contact, or contaminated surfaces. They are also recognized as pathogens for infants and children, elderly institutionalized patients, and immunocompromised patients. They may be shared for prolonged periods by immunocompromised hosts, and animal astroviruses are found in a variety of mammals and birds and have recently been identified in several species of bats. Uh, clinical testing for astroviruses is not commonly performed, but detection can be achieved with electron microscopy, antigen, or RT-PCR method. So that, that is the end for this chapter. So, Yun, uh, do you have questions by the way i'll be uh, sending the powerpoint as well for these two chapters and i will be um 
What do you call this? I will be preparing 20 items for the quiz on on January 10. So, okay, 40 items kasi nga plan, and 20 items by Dr. Abueva, tapos 20 items sa ako. So, yun, um, kindly focus na lang din for the for this, for my quiz, mostly on the tables. Or remember those uh, on hepatitis. Yun. And I will also be giving some scenarios. Yun. Not at all. Thank you. Uh, do you have any other um, comments, questions? Do you have a quiz after this? <laughs> Wala naman? Wala no. Okay, so I guess that, um, that's it. Let's end our session for today. Uh, I'll, uh, Dr. Famader, I'll be um, messaging you later. I, I have something to tell you. Okay? Okay, po, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Bye. Bye.